Hi friends, Warren here. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. I trust you're having a wonderful day today in Jesus. I want to share with you a devotion that I've entitled A Godly versus a Worldly Sorrow Over Sin. Now many of you will know that I've expressed on this channel before my appreciation and admiration for the ministry of Justin Peters. And Justin was sharing recently in a YouTube video that I was watching some of the very thoughts that I want to share with you today in this devotion. Repentance is not merely in and of itself ceasing to commit certain sins. Let me give you an example. Say, for instance, there is this man and he's addicted to pornography on the internet. Then somebody comes along, takes away his laptop, his computer, his cell phone, and he doesn't have access to it anymore. He doesn't have access to the internet anymore. And so he's no longer looking at pornography. But just because he's no longer looking at pornography doesn't mean that he's repented of it. Because if he had access to it again, he would return to it. So the stopping of certain sins in and of itself does not necessarily mean that a person has repented. Repentance comes from the heart. It comes when the heart is changed. When you look at your sin differently than you did before. An unbeliever can and does enjoy sin. They sin because that's what they truly want to do. And it doesn't grieve them. A true Christian is, however, grieved over his or her son. Paul speaks about this in 2 Corinthians chapter 7. He talks about a godly sorrow and a worldly sorrow over sin. In 2 Corinthians chapter 7, Paul says a worldly sorrow leads to death, but a godly sorrow leads to repentance and to salvation. A worldly sorrow is nothing more than a guilty conscience. What would happen if my sin were exposed? What would the consequence be or the consequences be? And so we try to cover up our sin. Not because we grieve over it, but because we don't want the consequences of it. But be sure, if we could get away with it, if nobody would know about it, find out about it, we would go right back to it. That's a worldly sorrow. And a worldly sorrow leads to death, eternal death. A godly sorrow, on the other hand, leads to repentance unto salvation. A godly sorrow over sin comes when we grieve over our sin. Because we understand, you see, that our sin grieves God. God has been so good, so kind, so gracious, so patient, so faithful, so merciful to us. That when we do sin, it grieves us because we understand that as Ephesians 5 says, our sin grieves God and we do not want to grieve him. It's not that a Christian is perfect. Far from it. A genuine Christian stumbles into sin. A true Christian doesn't swim in it, doesn't relish it, doesn't plan it, doesn't look for opportunities to sin. When a true Christian sins, it grieves him. It grieves her. Do your sins grieve you. Friends, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel today. I trust that you've enjoyed this devotion. Until next time, love you lots. God bless.